Okay, I'd like to welcome you all back here today. Today I'm going to give you a bit of a demonstration on iDigiFort HD. This has been specially designed for the iPad and here I'm going to show you how to configure it. As you can see here, we've got our uh, name, our Digifort server name, our IP address, simply just by clicking on it, you've got the flexibility to type in whatever you wish. Okay, I can move up and down, put in my username and password, and the port number that's used through Digifort. At the top here, I've got the flexibility to move my frames per second. See, I can go from 25 all the way down to one frame per second. Now, I currently am on my wireless access point, so I've got a very good connection. Here, I've got the flexibility to move my cameras that are associated in my Digifort server. Watch this. See? So this is an important camera. I can move it up to the top simply by just dragging and dropping. Done. Let's connect to our Digifort server now. Here we go. There we go. We are connected at 5 frames per second. So as we can see here, I can just double click with my finger and now it expands my image. I've got the flexibility just to drag and drop with my finger, slide across from screen to screen. For those who have the iPhone version, we've implemented the same technology in the iPad version. So I'm just going to continue to scroll across here. In this next section, I'm going to show you how easy it is for me to toggle through with a PTZ. This is my PTZ camera. It comes up with all my options. Down the bottom here, I have what we call presets. So I can simply just click my preset, and then my PTZ goes straight to my preset, as you've just witnessed. Over here, I can zoom in by pressing the plus, and I can zoom out by zooming out like so. I've got the flexibility to toggle on the left-hand side the movement of my PTZ. So watch now how easy it is for me to actually pan tilt zoom my camera with two fingers. Watch this now. I've got the flexibility to actually zoom in. Ready? Look at that. I've just zoomed in with the pinch function of the iPad. There we go. Now on the left hand side here, we've also got the flexibility to change the speed of the PTZ, how fast we move. See? It's now moving in larger increments. How about you try it? So as you can see, we can see nine images on the screen. The next function is my favorite function, the events function. Watch very carefully as I trigger an event here on my screen. See, I've created an alarm. Alarm has been triggered by my iPad. Click it, trigger is an event. Now on my PC, on my Digifor client, it comes up with my event. So here now I'm going to demonstrate how easy it is for me to zoom in in a particular area via the pinch on a normal megapixel camera. Here I'm zooming in in an area, see? And the technology is actually zooming in based on where my fingers are. Watch carefully on the screen. I want to zoom in here. See? I zoom out. I can zoom in to a particular car. Let's zoom in again. See? And move it around. Like so. Or I could just flick across my screen images and continue to do so through my whole Digifort server. That comes to the conclusion of the iPad version of iDigifort HD. Download it now from the App Store.